I got an email last night from a student. Uh, this person had worked on uh, you know their their work uh, for about ninety minutes and then lost all of it. Uh, this person put a considerable amount of work into it, didn't save it. Just uh, kind of a warning to everybody else. We always learn from somebody else's mistakes, hopefully. But we all learn this the hard way. We work on something. We're kind of into the mood, into the you know into the groove here and trying to you know working, trying to be productive. We don't think about saving it. But uh, there are ways to get around it, especially if you work at home. Uh, you want to make sure you put these settings in here. So in the CAD lab, we don't know what the settings are. And a lot of times the settings are set so they're not very friendly to students. It's just, it's just the way that works sometimes. But uh, how do you find that? So if you go to SolidWorks, what you want to do is go up here to the Options button up here in the, the pull-down menu. Let's go into that. We're going to go into System Options. We're going to scroll, scroll down here to Backup slash Recover. Couple different folders in here if you, and hopefully this is set. If this is uh, set, uh, you know, if it's checked, then you might want to check this folder and, you know, you back up something every five minutes, ten minutes, one minute. That's a little bit extreme, but uh, after five minutes or ten minutes worth of work, there's probably a considerable amount of, uh, considerable amount of value in that if you're working on something to go ahead and save it. So, and the CAD Lab computers, if that's checked and you got a certain value in here, here's the folder it might be. After it just crashes, take that data, take that folder, and open up uh, Windows Explorer. And then bring this guy over here and copy that uh, address in here and see what you got. So, it says my folder's empty in here, but uh, before I had this other folder in here too. And it's got some stuff way back from like two years ago. And uh, you might look in here and this might be where it would be. And this is uh, where the backup directory is. So everything says backup. And if you remember AutoCAD, AutoCAD does uh, that automatic. It does it automatically. Automatically backs up stuff for you. So you have these redundant files in here. And that's that other thing. So where is the backup folder? If uh, you can go ahead and do this, and let's go ahead and set that for ten minutes, and uh, it'll automatically back it up in the C drive. And then we go to the backup one over here too. So like every uh, well, every time you save a document, it's going to go ahead and back it up. And it's going to provide you uh, maybe two backups uh, per document, but you can create more. If you want to really fill up uh, the folder where those uh, items are going to be, you can create a whole bunch of them if you like. But every time you save your folder, uh, save your file, it's going to create a backup of that. Just in case you know, the stuff you're working on after that becomes corrupted, you can always go back to the version that was there before. So backup folder. Right here, again, I have that same folder over here. It's the same thing up here. It's just one item above that. And if you go into that, then you see all your backup files. So that's one way to do that. Or you can save your backup files in the same folder as the original one by clicking on that uh, radio button. And then this is a good one. Remove backup uh, backups older than like 30 days or 15 days or 5 days or 1 day. You can do that too. So that way it doesn't really like continue to fill up over and over and over again. Uh, really creating a lot of work later to try to delete all those things. Or just filling up uh, you know, your storage. You don't want to do that. So, and then there's this option down here, save notification, show a reminder of the document has not been saved for 10 minutes. What it does is it provides a little dialog box that pops up down here, suggesting that you should uh, save, your, save your work. And then uh, it says automatically dismiss after five seconds. So it'll sit down here for five seconds, and then it kind of like slowly disappears. So there are some settings in here. A lot of these settings, especially the ones on the bottom for the backup and uh, save notification, that might be relevant for uh, SolidWorks at home. Make sure you get those settings in there. In the computer, in the CAD lab, again, not very uh, student-friendly, unfortunately. Just the way things uh, go around here. You want to make sure that, uh, at least uh, with the default settings that they have, there's an opportunity to go into that folder that might be checked up here to see if your work is in there. And if you do that, if you see it in there, uh, just go ahead and copy that, put it in your own folder, and then uh, it'll say auto recovery on it. And uh, just take that auto recovery off, and then you, know, you might want to save it with a dash one or a dash two or dash save or whatever you want to do so you don't overwrite uh, the existing folder or the existing file. And then go ahead and open it up, and it should be pretty close to where you left it uh, before your computer crashed.